Once upon a time, a successful businessman with a lot of companies was going old and knew it was time to choose his successor to take over the business. Instead of choosing one of his directors or the next in command or even his children, he decided to do something different. He called all the young executives in his company together. He said, it is time for me to step down and choose the next CEO. I have decided to choose one of you. The young executive was shocked. But the boss continued. I am going to give each of you a seed today. A very special seed. I want you to plant the seed, water it, and come back here one year from today with what you have grown from the seed that I have given you. I will then judge the plant that you bring and the one I choose will be the next CEO. One man named Steve were there that day. He, like the others, received a seed. He went home and excitedly told his wife the story. She helped him gather pots, soil and compost and he even planted the seed. Every day, he would water it and watch to see if he had grown. After about three weeks, some of the other executives began to talk about their seed and the plant they were bringing the beginning to grow. Steve kept checking his seed, but nothing ever grew. Three weeks, four weeks, five weeks went by, still nothing. By now, the other were talking about their plants, but Steve didn't have a plant and it felt like a failure. Six months went by, Still nothing in Steve's box. He just knew he has killed the seed. Everyone had trees and tall plants, but he had nothing. Steve didn't say anything to his colleague. However, he kept watering and fertilizing the soil. He wanted the seed to grow. A year finally went by, and all the executives of the company brought their plant to the CEO for inspection. Steve told his wife that he, has it. he wasn't going to take an empty pot, but she asked him to be honest about what happened. Steve felt sick in his stomach. It was going to be the most embarrassing moment of his life. But he knew his wife was right. He took the empty pot to the boardroom. When Steve arrived, he was amazed at the variety of plants grown by the other executive. They were beautiful, in all shapes and sizes. Steve put his empty pot on the floor, and many of his colleagues laughed. A few felt sorry for him. When the CEO arrived, he surveyed the room and greeted his young executive. Steve just tried to hide his face in the back. Oh my God! What great planting trees and flowers you all have grown, said the CEO. Today one of you will be appointed the next CEO. All of a sudden, the CEO spotted Steve at the back of the room with an empty pot. He ordered the financial director to bring him to the front. Steve was so terrified. He thought, oh, the CEO knows I am now a failure. Maybe we have to fire me. When Steve got to the front, the CEO asked him, What happened to your seed? Steve told him the story. The CEO asked everyone to sit down except Steve. He looked at Steve and they announced to the young executive, Behold, your new chief executive officer. His name is Steve. Steve couldn't believe it. Steve couldn't even grow his seed. How could he be the new CEO? The other said. Then the CEO said, A year ago, I gave everyone in this room a seed. I told you to take the seed, plant it, water it, and bring it back to me. But I gave you all dead and boiled seeds. 
they were all dead. It wasn't possible for them to go. All of you except Steve had brought me trees, plants and flowers. When you when you found the seeds would not grow, you substituted another seed for the one I gave to you. Steve was the only one with the courage and honesty to bring back a pot with my seed in it. Therefore, he is the one who will be the new chief executive officer. Hmm. What a story. I know some people have been very honest and loyal to someone, to some companies, or even in a relationship. And what you get at the end is betrayal. You think honesty doesn't pay anymore. I am here to encourage you and tell you that honesty and loyalty is the peace. Be careful what you plant now. It will determine what you reap later. I know sometimes we don't get what we expect. But whatever you give to life, life gives you back. Make each day count. We are already in this world where we reap what we sow. Think about it. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and click the bell icon to be able to see when we post new stuff. And tell us what you think in the comment section. And always feel free to share with your friends and family. As I remain, Kelvin Prince. Bye.